Thank you. Let's see if I can get this off. All right. So, the title of my project is You Like to Write, Write. It was actually conceived in that two-day KVEC Summer Institute when they gave us the grant writing workshop. That's where it all came together. Because I tried to write a grant last year, and I couldn't think of anything to do. So I go to that grant writing workshop and sit down, and it just came to me it was there. Um, the way it's going to work is, because I teach two different eighth grades, I basically have built-in control, like a control group and a test subject group. So we take one eighth grade, and we let them complete the entire curriculum online. Everything they do is technology based. So for writing assignments, if you do argumentative or informative or whatever, you can do that on Study Island. It gives you um, a pre-planner, like a graphic organizer. It lets you look at the rubric as you work. And then for the other class, they do it the traditional way. You know, they get the packet, they write it out. Um, the technology based classroom also gets to blog, which is the very best thing that I have ever done in a classroom ever. Like if you give students the opportunity to choose their topics, to write about what they want to write about, they get really excited. And while you keep them in the format that you're expected to teach, you let them kind of guide their learning in that way. Um, in order to see if we're successful. Basically what we do is we compare the work of the two classes. So you use your regular rubric, your on-demand K-Prep rubric to grade your writings for both classes, um, and surveys, student surveys. We surveyed students at the beginning. We've done that already. You can see some of the results of that down there on the poster, how they feel about writing. They do not like it. Most middle school students do not like to write. Um, and we're going to survey them over the course of the whole project to see if that changes. And it, you, I can tell already that it's changing. Like these kids in that first period class, when they have the opportunity to write the blogs, they're excited to be there. And the names of their blogs, like the things that they've come up with are amazing. This one girl, her blog is called Get Off My Lawn. And this other guy, he's got like Blog of the Universe or Blog Me Crazy. I mean, they're really, these kids are really creative. Um, let's see, what else was I gonna say? Basically, I've covered this really fast because I don't know if you can tell I'm really nervous. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this. All. I can talk in front of kids all day, but I find it more difficult to talk in front of you guys. Um, are there any questions? I found a website. It's EDU Blogs. It is a pay site. You have to pay to create a class. But it's like $15 for six months, and I... I just paid it out of my own pocket because it's well worth it. Um, and you can, every kid sets up a blog. Now they can go in there and set up blogs for free. So you could do it that way. But if you want access to your class, yeah, and you want to keep track of it, then you need to do it that way. Yes, yeah. And approve comments and keep, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you know how that is. Yeah, we do a lot of stuff on Google Classroom too, but. For the blogs, it's that. And I'm, I'm going to use that, I think, in every class from here on out. I don't know if they'll do it like as a unit or something we'll do weekly or monthly, but um, we'll be blogging forever. As long as I teach writing, they will be blogging. Yeah, it's awesome. Any other questions? There are free writes, and then there are those that we score for content. Right now, we're starting informative. So they did like a little personal narrative blog where they introduced themselves, and we scored that, you know, based on mechanics, based on content. Um, now they're doing the informative, and what we've done so far is like a brainstorm pre-write blog where you talk about questions you might have and how you might narrow your research. So you pick your topics, you narrow your research, and then you just free write about that. And so when they get to the actual piece, we'll grade the pre-write as a blog, and then we'll redo it and grade that, you know, rough draft, all that. Yeah. So, any other questions? Super quick. <laughs> um, you I, see, I'm not really sure about that. I, on the, my poster down there, I have put the link to the blog to see if other people can go in and see. We've not really had time to have outside people check and see, but we'll do that, and we'll see if if that link takes you so that you can read 
read their work and so that outside. But I feel like we've opened it to the public. Our settings are public. So I feel like that in essence means other people can read it and respond to it. And then we've got to be prepared to deal with those kind of responses too, which we've not had yet. We've not experienced that. So, but that will happen over the course of the project. Any other? Yes. I had a set of Chromebooks, but not enough for every kid. And we were having to borrow from other classrooms where those teachers needed those books. So I just filled out my set. So I got, I think it was four or five more Chromebooks to make a full set. Because we've got 28 in one eighth grade and 30 in the other. So, yeah, we had a lot of kids in there. Any other questions? Thank you very much.